The air we breathe is one of the most fundamental building blocks of life. Without it, we would not exist. But what gives us life can also hurt us, and it's all our own doing. The Earth's air is polluted. Industrialization and the burning of fossil fuels release harmful gases into the atmosphere that not only contribute to the climate crisis, but can directly harm life that breathes. The Earthshot Prize sets out a series of urgent challenges that humankind needs to solve in the remainder of this decade to repair our planet. If our atmosphere is to recover and give all life on Earth a chance, we need solutions now. From changing our practices at home to creating clean forms of transport and revolutionising the way we build new homes, these are the finalists for the Earthshot Prize to clean our air. There are many ways in which pollutants are released into the air, but for many, the simple act of cooking a meal can cause great harm to the health of them and their families. Across East Africa, many low-income households rely on open flames to cook their food, but this comes at a cost. The fuels used to generate enough heat can produce harmful smokes and emissions and can be hugely dangerous for the people who breathe them. Mukuru Clean Stoves in Kenya aims to solve this problem. I came up with um, the idea of Mukuru Clean Stoves in Mukuru, which is one of the biggest slums in Nairobi. At 16, I became a mom and when my daughter turned two, she suffered a very severe burn injury caused by the traditional stove we were using. Cooking stoves are the biggest contributors to greenhouse gas emissions, especially in this part of the world. I wanted to build a more stable stove for my community and that is how the idea of Mukuru Clean Stoves was born. So we used recycled metal to build a $10 stove and then we built it so that when you burn um, any type of solid fuel in it, like briquettes for instance, you only need about half of it compared to a traditional stove to cook the same amount of meals for your family. We make an ethanol stove and coupled with the stove, families are able to burn a fuel that is 100% clean, so it produces 0% of toxic smoke. What worries me the most about the future or the next generation is them not having a safe planet to work in, to live in, to thrive in. Since 2017, we've sold over 200,000 improved cookstoves across Western Kenya, enabling families to decrease their toxic smoke emissions by between 60 to 90 percent, depending on the type of fuel that they're using. We are building our second factory, where we are going to be manufacturing three new stoves. Um, the plan is to be able to scale this to about a million households within the next two years, working with a thousand local women business owners across all of Kenya. What gives me hope for the future? is seeing and being proud of the work that we are doing right now to ensure that we provide a safer environment for the next generation. By removing a major source of pollution from the households in East Africa, we can make a big difference to the air we breathe. But it's not just cooking that causes problems. Kenya is growing rapidly, and a growing world relies increasingly on transport with more vehicles on the road comes more emissions in our atmosphere. To combat this, one company is aiming to solve the problem at the ground level and weave clean transport into the very fabric of this quickly developing world. My name is Philip Lovstrom. For the past couple of years I've worked as CEO of Rome Motors. Our solution at, at Rome is to provide people with an electric motorcycle and it's truly really simple. It's, it's a motorcycle, it's a battery. A battery can be removed from the motorcycle, charged at any point where you can charge your mobile cell phone. There is a lot of people very informed on environmental topics, but it's much less about the knowledge and much more about the option and choice. Do you have an option to your petrol motorcycle? Do you have an option for an electric vehicle? You don't today, and that's the option that we are trying to provide. The whole motorcycle sector is, is today growing at an exponential rate. I mean, we're seeing 20,000 motorcycles being added to the streets every month. So the urgency of the problem really is here and now. We need to get sustainable transport solutions out today. Burning of fossil fuels inside of the cities just doesn't make sense, and it makes even less sense when you look towards the future. So we have hundreds of thousands of motorcycle drivers in Nairobi, in Kenya. With an electric solution, they're able to double their daily income compared to spending money on fuel, which gives them the possibility of saving more money, providing better schooling for their children, and all of that on top of being able to be in a more healthier environment. 
with our solution, we have the capacity and possibility to just create clean cities and clean air where we enjoy the environment around us. Winning the Earthshot Prize for us would give us a possibility to scale up faster and to do more with it. And it would be a tremendous honor for both our, our team and for myself and a, a recognition of all the hard work that's been put in so far. I feel a lot of hope just based on the capacity that I know humans have to supply solutions. If all the world's transport was clean, we could remove a huge source of air pollution and help to combat the climate crisis. But one of the other major sources of air pollution is also a direct result of our modern world. The construction sector has traditionally relied on fossil fuels in the form of huge diesel generators to power building sites and machinery. And with our rapidly expanding towns and cities, we require more power than ever. But there is a way to remove the need for diesel generators on building sites. And there is a way to make the construction sector cleaner. The reason why the construction industry needed fossil fuels was simply because they didn't have a choice. There was no alternative to powering up a construction site, which is typically in an edge of grid or a completely off grid environment. What AMT provides is an alternative solution that isn't reliant on fossil fuels and that's instead powered up by the grid. And by doing so, that's a massive impact from an air quality standpoint, but also from an, a carbon emission standpoint. The Amped Entertainer affects people in two main ways. One, air pollution. The Entertainer has an air pollution footprint that is 100% less than a fossil fuel generator. And that's equivalent to removing anywhere between 200 to 400 cars off the roads. So that's a huge impact on air quality. The second way is a noise. The Entertainer has a noise footprint that is 30 times less compared to a comparable fossil fuel generator. And this has obviously a significant impact on the neighboring and the vicinity of the construction project itself. Sustainability is important because there are more people that live on this planet and share this planet than there have ever been in all of history. There are 8 billion people on this planet that we call home today. And one of the major issues affecting a lot of cities and urban environments is air pollution. Air pollution is one of the major killers all around the world. Millions of people die unnecessarily and prematurely because of air pollution and change can't come soon enough in this world that we live in today. Winning the prize gives us the global recognition that we think we're gonna need to really accelerate uh, what we're trying to do. The only way that we're gonna achieve the positive change that's needed quickly is by doing it together. Without our air, we would not exist. But these three finalists have shown that there is hope to restore the atmosphere and protect the future for generations to come. We can change our own practices, we can implement green infrastructure and we can modernise our building practices to clean our air.